Stacking context is a fundamental concept that applies to HTML elements and using CSS you can create multiple stacking contexts without even knowing. Understanding stacking context can solve many of your HTML and CSS problems, most especially Z index problems. So in this video I'll be simplifying the concept of stacking context. This is the example we'll be using here but before we come to this example let me just show you a simple illustration that explains the idea of stacking context. So like I said stacking context applies to HTML elements. So for example you can have one stack like this this is on level zero you can have another stack like this on level one you can have another stack on level two you can even have two stacks on level zero you can have multiple stacks on the same level now let's say there is a user here viewing your page this is the user's eyes <laughs> So the user is viewing your uh, web page. Yeah, something like this. Now, the idea of stacks is that this stack on level one would block or not block. It would cover this stack on level zero. So the user will not be able to see the elements you have on this stack because this stack is covering it. And also the user will not be able to see this stack because this stack is covering all of it. But the user will be able to see this stack because nothing is covering it. Now, let's say this stack probably has a lesser width, something like this. It means the user will be able to see this stack. The user will not be able to see all of this stack. Will be able to see a bit of it, and the user will not be able to see all of this stack, but will be able to see a bit of it. But let's say this stack is then above this stack, like this. It means that the user will be able to see all the elements on this stack, but the user will not be able to see this stack, and the user will be able to see some elements on this stack. So I don't know if this actually explains anything, but I just wanted to give you this foundation. And now let's build on this foundation, looking at our example. Now the first thing you need to understand about stacking context. Is is that by default without creating any extra stacking context you have only one stacking context in your web page and that stacking context can be found on the html element so let's come back to this diagram clear everything then i'm just going to draw a stack like this and on this stack i'll have html so this is the default stack now that we have it another thing to understand with stacking context is that all elements in a stacking context will be displayed based on how they are rendered in the dom or how you you have it in the source code for example here we have a div of first we have a div of second we have a div of third what it means is that on the web page second will be above first and third would be above second which means third is also above first by the way for the style in here i have a width of 100 percent for the three d's height of 100 pixels then the first has a background color of white the second a background color of bollywood bollywood the third has a background color of light green now by looking at this you may not know that the second is actually above Above the first and you may not know that the third is actually above the second let me show you that it's actually above each other so on the second let's say i apply a margin top of 50 pixels like this no sorry not 50 pixels minus 50 pixels and let's say i make the width 90 percent like this now you can see that the second div is actually above the first div for the third div let's say we have a margin top of minus 100 pixels and we have a width of 50 percent you can see that the third div is above the second div and if i even take this further up let's say minus 150 pixels you can see that the third div is also above the first div all elements in the same stacking context will be displayed based on the order that you have in the dom but now let's create a new stacking context how do you create a new stacking context now if you go to the mdn docs a stacking context is formed anywhere in the document by the following scenarios so first the root element has a stacking context also elements with a position Position value absolute or relative would have a new stacking context. Let me show you that. Now on the second div, watch what happens when I put a position of relative. What do you notice here? The second div now covers the third div. Even if the third div actually comes after the second div, but on the second div, by adding a position of relative, we have now created a new stacking context and this new stacking context would cover the stacking context below it. So coming back to our diagram here, here we have HTML so you can think of this like we have created another stacking context and here we have second div so everything in this first stacking context which is the first div the third div everything will be covered by this second div which has another stacking context but again watch if on the third let's say i put position relative see the third comes back on top of it what is happening here we have created a stacking context for this third 
div. So if I come here, you can think of this like we have the second div and the third div also has its own stacking context. I'm going to rename this to third div. And because the two of them are on the same level of stacking context, since the third div comes after the second div, that's why the third div is covering the second div on the web page. Now let's say I remove this position relative from second, I move it from third, and let's say I put it on first position relative. What do you see? The first div is now covering every other thing because the second div is on the default stacking context, the one created by HTML, and this other div is also on the one created by HTML, and this one is now a new stacking context. So coming to our illustration here, I'm going to remove this. What it means is that we now have a new stacking context, and here we have the first div. So you see how stacking context works here. The stacking context above would block the stacking context below. If we go back here, you can see many other ways of creating stacking context. It also says position with fixed sticky. It also says element that is a child of a flex container would also form a new stacking context. Let's see what this means. So for the first, I'm going to remove this position relative. Now let's say on this second div, I have a div. I'll call this second first. And let's say I have another div i'll call this second second for second first and second second i'll give a width of 100 percent then for second first i'll give this a background color of light what can i use let's use light sky blue and then for second second we'll have a background color of light slate gray whatever that is now if we come back here why is this not showing oh we don't have a height let's give this a height of 20 pixels let me give this a margin bottom of 10 pixels again let's say on this second we have a position of relative which means we are creating a new stacking context i can also use absolute here by the way it doesn't have to be relative but let me just stick with relative because absolute scatters the screen so now because this second div has a new stacking context it is now above the third div so now let's say we remove this position relative and we say display flex now what do you see here the second div itself it's still at the back of the third div but the children elements of the second div are above the third div and that is what this line means here that element that is a child of a flex container will also form a stacking context so these children here the second first and the second second they have a new stacking context and that is why they are above the Todd div the second div itself which has a display flex that does not create a new stacking context it is only the children that create a new stacking context and that is why i said at the beginning that you can be creating multiple stacking contexts without even knowing let's say you use display flex a lot or even display grid here it also says element as a child of a grid container when you use these things a lot you're actually creating multiple stacking contexts without knowing and that can affect you later on and this is something you must have experienced a lot with z index now speaking about z index where does z index even come in i'm going to remove this display flex and i'm going to put this at position relative before we look at z index let's also look at one more it says element with an opacity value less than one so i'm going to remove this position relative from the second so it doesn't have its own stacking context on this first let's say i apply opacity of one nothing happens it doesn't create its own stacking context it still depends on the html stacking context but if i use maybe 0.5 what do you notice here the first is now above the second and the third let me use point nine you can see the first is above the second and the third and that is what this line means here that elements with an opacity value less than one would also create its own stacking context and there are even multiple things here when you use transform when you use filter when you use all of these properties with specific values you are actually creating a new stacking context and you may not even be aware anyways let's go back to z index i'm going to remove this opacity from the first and let's say for the second i have a position of relative now the z index property is used for changing the level of a stack now currently only the second div has a new stacking context so let's head back to our diagram so here we know that the second div has a new stacking context i'm going to reduce the width here now let's say for the third div i also create the new stacking context using position relative now the third div is above the second div so coming back to our diagram here it's going to look something like this so 
third div and the reason why third div is showing above second div is because they are on the same level the same stack level and third comes after second now with z index i can tell the second div that you should go even a level higher in the stack level so if i come to the second div now and i put maybe a z index of one like this look at the second div is showing above the third div so what i'm doing here is saying this second div come above like this and that is why the second div is now covering some parts of the third div if i want to illustrate this that means the second div is something like this but if i come to the third div and i also say z index of one the third div now comes above the second div because the third div let me reduce the width of this the third div is now on the same level with the second div let's assume this is level one so both of them are on the same level and whenever they're on the same level then it will depend on the order in the dom so here we have third coming after second and that is why third is above second now when it comes to z index stacking context another thing you should understand is that the children of a parent element will depend on the parent element's stacking context. What do I mean by this? Let's say I take position relative from here. I take Z index one from here and I take Z index from here and also from here. So this is our default. Now let's say on the second first, which is a child of the second element, let's say I put a position relative. What have I done here? I have created a new stacking context for the second first, which is this. And as you can see, the second element itself is at the back of the third element but since this one now has a new stacking context it is above the third element because this third element doesn't have its own stacking context and that is why this second first is now showing above the third but let's come back to second and let's put a position of relative everything shows let's put a z index of one which means i want it to be on the one level of the stack stack level stacking context level and let's say on the third we also have a position of relative and this also has a z index of one now the third is back up now let's say on this second first i now put a z index of five this is what happens the second first doesn't come on top of the third even though the second first has a z index of five which is higher than the z index of the third you can see that it is still below the third as we can see here on the page so what is happening here this second first depends on the stacking context of this and because this has a stacking context on the first level as we declared here it means that every other thing that comes above second will be above all of the children of second and that is why it is above second first but if on this second i comment these two lines which means the second is not creating its own stacking context that means the second first will not be bounded by the parent the parent doesn't have its own stacking context so the second first will depend on the default stacking context which is html and because second first and third are all children of html that is why second first as you can see here this blue rectangle that is why it can go above third but if i create the stacking context on the parent which is the second which has a z index of one you can see that even if i use 1000 here it is never going to be above the third div so if we want to illustrate this you can think of this like you know we have the second div i want to make this bigger we have the second div which is on the first level because on the second we have a z index of one and then we have the third div the third div is also on the first level which means the third div will be above the second div since it comes after the second div in the dom so creating a new stacking context inside here by adding position relative z index 1000 basically means you are having let me create something like this it basically means something like this can this text go up yep just gonna put up so it basically means you are creating a new stacking context inside the second div stacking context so i'm going to call this second first div and let's say this is a position 1000 by creating a stacking context for second first inside a stacking context of second you can think of it like a nested stacking context every stacking context created by elements in the dom such as second div and third div in our example can also be seen as a nested stacking context of html since all elements are descendants of the html element and the html element itself has a stacking context so because this stacking context is bounded by this stacking context it means that this second first div cannot come 
above it can only be inside this stacking context and that is why the third div still shows after it you can see here the third div is covering this blue rectangle which is the second first so that's why i said the children of a parent which already has a stacking context will be bounded by that stacking context of the parent but again if i come to the second and i remove this stacking context from here this would show above because the second div doesn't have a stacking context and that is why this can be at position 1000 and the second div doesn't have a stacking context so this is important to know so i hope this this helps you get the idea of stacking context if we go back to this page here you can see when you're using all of these things you might be creating stacking context without even knowing and this is why sometimes your z index will not work even when you say z index 1000 it may not work because of stacking context another reason why your z index may not work is if you don't have a position let's say here we have a position of static which is the default position z index index will not work by using position static you are not creating a new stacking context and z index cannot work so the only way z index can work is when you have a position it could be fixed it could be absolute it could be relative but not just that the z index would also depend on the stacking context of the parent element trying to make the second first come out of the second you have to ensure that the second doesn't have a stacking context here it is showing because the second doesn't have a stacking context if I come back here and I put the stacking context, you can see it now goes back. So this is the idea of stacking context. Say you have a model and you have a Z index of 1000 and maybe it is not showing above every other thing. It means that that model probably doesn't have a position and that is why the Z index is not working. Or maybe it has a position, but it is bounded by the stacking context of its parent. So what you should do in that case is to investigate the parent. Check if the parent of that model has the right stacking context is in the left level of the stack that you want it to be and as long as the parent has the right stacking context and is above every other thing then it means the model that is a child of that parent would also be above everything so if i come to second now and i make this a z index of two which is higher than the z index of the third you can see the second is now above the third and everything in the second is also above the third the default stacking context is the html element and then by applying specific properties and specific values to those properties you can be creating new stacking context and if those elements are positioned with a position value that is not static then you can use the z index to change the stack level i hope you enjoyed this video and the concept of stacking context now makes sense to you so go ahead and be a css pro and i hope this also gives you an idea on how to solve your z index problems um if you enjoyed it please give it a like um share with others and follow me for more simplified css videos like this